Welcome back to Linux Network. If you're into Linux or just curious about trying it out, you're in for a treat today. Garuda Linux just dropped its latest release called Broadwing and is packed with some awesome new features, a fresh new edition and a bunch of improvements that make it even more user-friendly. Whether you're a Linux newbie or a seasoned pro, there's something here for everyone. So, let's break it down. First things first, what is Garuda Linux? Garuda is a Linux distribution based on Arch Linux. Now, if you're new to Linux, don't worry. Think of a Linux distribution as a version of the Linux operating system, kind of like how Windows has different versions like Windows 10 or Windows 11. Garuda Linux is known for being beautiful, powerful and easy to use, even if you're just starting out. It's designed to give you a smooth and visually stunning experience right out of the box. One of the coolest new features in Broadwing release is the Garuda Rani Welcome app. Rani means queen in some languages and this app is here to rule your first experience with Garuda Linux. It's designed to make setting up your system super easy, especially if you're new to Linux. Before this release, Garuda had three separate apps, the Welcome app, the Gamer app and the Assistant app. Now they've combined all of them into one handy tool, Garuda Rani. This means you can do everything from setting up your system, installing software and even optimizing your system for gaming, all in one place. It's like having a personal assistant to guide you through everything. Ok, this is my favorite part of the update, the brand new Garuda Mocha edition. If you're someone who loves beautiful design, you're going to adore this. Garuda Mocha features a Capuchin theme, KDE Plasma Desktop. Now, what does that mean? Capuchin is a popular theme known for its pastel colors and cohesive design. It's soft, elegant and just really pleasing to the eyes. The KDE Plasma desktop is already one of the most customizable and user-friendly desktop environments. With the Mocha Edition, Garuta takes it to the next level by giving it a fresh, inviting look. If you're someone who spends a lot of time on your computer, having a beautiful desktop can really make your day better. Trust me, this one is a winner. Next up, let's talk about the Dragonized Edition. This is another version of Garuda Linux that uses the KDE Plasma desktop but with a more modern and sleek design. In the Broadwing release, they've added a cool new feature called the Panel Colorizer. This tool lets you customize the color of your desktop panel so you can make your desktop look exactly the way you want. If you're someone who loves tweaking your system to make it truly yours, this is a game changer. You can match your desktop colors to your wallpaper, your mood or even your favorite sports team. It's all about making your computer feel personal and unique. Now let's talk about the Hyperland Edition. Hyperland is a super modern and lightweight desktop environment that's perfect for users who want a clean and efficient setup. In this release, Garuda had made some great improvements to the Hyperland edition. First, they've updated the screenshot tool with something called GAM implementation. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. It just means that taking screenshot is now more intuitive and user-friendly. They've also added special workspaces to help you organize your tasks better. And for those using older systems, they've also added X11 as a secondary JDK backend, which basically means better compatibility with older hardware. If you're into lightweight and minimal desktop environment, you'll love the updates to the i3 and Sway editions. Let's start with the i3 edition. It now supports Font Awesome, which is a set of icons that make your desktop look more polished and professional. They've also improved the CPU temperature display, so you can keep an eye on your system's performance, and tweak the font size and notification settings for a better experience. As for the Sway Edition, it now comes with a new greeter, that's the login screen, and a new lock screen. They've also revamped the way bar, which is the bar at the top or bottom of your screen that shows things like time, battery life and open apps. These updates make the Sway Edition even more user-friendly and visually appealing. So why should you give Garuda Linux a try? Well, if you're looking for a Linux distribution that's easy to use, beautiful and packed with features, Garuda is a fantastic choice. It's perfect for beginners because of tools like the Garuda Rani Welcome app, but it's also great for advanced users who want to customize every little detail of their system. And with the new Garuda Mocha edition, you get a desktop that's not just functional but also a joy to look at. Plus, all the updates to the Hyperland, i3 and Sway edition means there's something for everyone no matter what kind of desktop environment you prefer. And that's it for the Garuda Linux Broadwing release. 
Let me know in the comments which edition you're most excited about, Garuda Moka, Hyperland or something else. And as always, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.